A Fox 23 exclusive interview, Oklahoma State Superintendent is taking a look back at his first year in office. I'm John Asibis. And I'm Tanya Motorzitsky. Shay and Sarah have the night off. I sat down with State Superintendent Ryan Walters. He tells me every decision he made was for, quote, the betterment of education. Year one as State Superintendent and Ryan Walters is no stranger to making headlines. He tells me in a one-on-one -on -one interview, he wants to make Oklahoma go from 49th in education to number one. And we have incredible momentum. I believe we're just getting started on this uh, change for our, for our kids and for our parents. In May, Walters and I drove around Broken Arrow as he laid out his four goals for the year, which were teacher raises, recruitment, increased parent involvement and choices, and back to the basics. He says he can check all those off of his list. With a record education budget, which includes teacher pay raises, and he says his administration has had a historic teacher recruitment process, including special education teachers. Continue to actively recruit special ed teachers. We're also working to find ways to get them trainings faster, to minimize some of the paperwork that they're doing, and to make sure that the parents are engaged and involved in the process. Walters also reminded districts about student discipline plans to keep students from being disruptive and plans to do more when the legislator comes back around. We want to give teachers more tools to get discipline under control in their classroom. We want teachers to have the ability, to your point, to go in there and make sure that the kids who need extra help get that help, that they're not being distracted or disrupted from disorderly kids. We have to get just, uh, we have to get common sense back in when it comes to discipline because what we've seen is this belief that all kids are victims and excusing bad behavior. He says he also pushed for more parent and school involvement to help keep kids on the track to success. Parents have become very frustrated with so many schools not engaging them and not bringing them in. We've seen groups like the teachers unions who have fought to keep parents out of schools. They have fought parental involvement. And so what we've continued to say is teachers unions, we want you out. Parents, we want you in. We want to return to a time where, hey, parent-teacher conferences, parents are there. Schools are open to parents for parents to come in and observe. They're there for them to talk to teachers. They're there for them to communicate directly with an administrator if they want to. Walters announced a partnership with the controversial videos from Prager University that some say are not accurate depictions of history. He says otherwise. But they have also just do a great job of, look, here's some of these figures. We want to start the conversation early with kids about here's some of these important figures that played a major role in American history. Let's start the conversation about some of the things they accomplished. Walter says his goal was a culmination of all these things and monitoring kids' success. It's to get indoctrination out the classroom and get back to the basics like reading, math, science, and history. To me, when we talk about education, it is about the schools, it is about test scores, but, it, but it's even much bigger than that, right? We want our kids to hit those benchmarks because we know that that means uh, a better life for that kid, uh, a better family for that kid, a better community. And, and when you have better communities, it's, it's a better state. And, and so uh, that's what excites me about seeing improvement academically, is I know what that means is we're getting the state in a better trajectory uh, to be the leader that it should be. I also talked to Walters about what year two in office looks like for him and Oklahoma public education. I'm working on that story for Monday on Fox 23 News at 5.